And I regret to inform you that our Soviet sister city, Springograd... What is the one thing our blessed little town has lacked? A human zoo? Special building, special sky, a unique place to live and die. Only Springfield! Only Springfield! Stop the anthem! What is it, Mo? are for celebrating! Calgary! Only Proto! Ulan Bator! Miriam Mipiwa! This song was supposedly written by former Mayor Mole Man! <laughs> well then, what do I do with this? No, I can't be buried in a Jewish cemetery! I still believe in this town! A town that deserves its own original song! Sunshine, she's here! You can take a break! <laughs> <laughs> Shelbyville rules! Mr. Teeny, Sister Weenie, you've got a gift! Well, don't be so surprised. I did write that Lisa, it's your birthday song. Will you team up with me? Hmm. What's in it for me? Uh, I'll make brownies later. What are you doing? What's it look like? Writing a song. <laughs> Artists. <laughs> like Andy and Lana Wachowski. Should we hug? Hmm. How about a fist bump through a towel? That works. <laughs> We've got a big sinkhole And they shut down the think hole Why Springfield? Why not? Ooh, we're just off the interstate ah, Our cops are easily bought And our dentists are all self-taught Springfield, why not? Our kids just did something amazing. Well, not Maggie. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm tired of you saying planes have gotten smaller and two presidents were fatter than you. Healthy way to lose weight. It's not about health, Marge. It's about going crazy. This is it. My name is Roy, and this week I gained seven pounds. We are big is beautiful. So, you guys are proud of what you are? We do not cower in the shadows. Mustn't forget the diet soda. I have so many questions for you. First of all, is this floor reinforced? Our loved ones, though precious, can often be a hurdle. Who are you? I'm the founder of our little group. I am big. I am beautiful. I have a beauty of a sort to some turning point in my life. Well, that's great, homie. Just let me finish uploading this photo. They taught me that I don't need to lose weight. I should just be proud of what I am. What? You're my wife of 10 years, and I love you. But I must observe the teachings of this man I just met tonight. It was a poem you were writing about my potential. I'm gonna start celebrating my size. Chubby, chunky, blabo, slabo, fat bastard, Michelin man, stay puffed, chumbawamba. It is balloon! One ton soup, blob sagget, chub hub, Calvin cool whip, Manfred man boobs, 21 Lump Street, walking before picture. What about Mr. Two Belts? Good, good. By which I mean bad, bad. We're proud. Two of us can make a crowd. Sorry, fellas. There's a movement I have to join. I say in the fin sanity. You, my friend, are wrong. Okay, people, show's over. Nothing to eat here. Now move along, if you can. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, jeez, Lou, you seem to be enjoying this. Just doing my job, chief. Excuse me. Pardon me. There we go. Uh, coming up. What can I do for you? You're free on bail. What is the point of a long life if it's not enjoyed? Oh. Homer, you have to choose. I'm coming back in. Suck in your guts. We don't know. Yeah. Mom, what's wrong? How come Dad's not with you? Are they setting bail by the pound? Do you really think that we can write a song that does that? I just wanted to get out of the room. She was really bumming me out. Feel less than because we are greater than. I was distinctly promised no math. I gave it to you. I refuse to accept it. Just start the song. We couldn't write a song. We're one hit wonders. She was sucking all the gangsta out of everything. Well, you're the only gangsta I know with the nine o'clock bedtime. It's not your fault that you can't win against a superior being like Albert. <laughs> Oh, dear God. 
Stick a forklift in him. He's dead. At the age of... 23? People, for God's sake, join a gym! Now, come on. Let's walk home. Absolutely. You finally reached emotional maturity. Unlike Bart. Bart's very mature. Whoa! Oh, I wish I had said that earlier. Now I can relax and take off this stifling bikini. Mm. Mark Hamill! Elf! And many more! Save me, Octo! Oh, you stupid little trap! You're so boring! I hate you! Sorry, we're all full. Are you sure this is a sci-fi convention? It's full of nerds! People! People! This man has actually been in outer space! Ha! <laughs> Nobody cares! Water damaged little Lulus? <sighs> A, that is not water, it is diet Mr. Pibb. And B, I... Ooh. Sweet tarts out of your beard and you're on. Don't try to change me, baby. Luke Skywalker himself, Mark Hamill! <laughs> but I'm also here to talk about Sprint. As you can see, you stand to save up to 17 cents a month over the more dependable providers. How many of you have ever dreamed of being in that movie? Well, you're in luck. A lightsaber and the wing, wing, wing. That's not how you ring. God, you! Yeah, Gadzooks, where are my bodyguards? Is there anything fluffier than a cloud? He's the one you want! Back in here! Back up, you freaking dweebs! Oh, poor Mark Hamill! Mr. Mayor, come on! Who are you? Homer Simpson, Nerdbuster, and I'm getting you out of here. <laughs> How was I supposed to know it's not a real spaceship? Well, thanks a lot, Homer. Well, it's a... Hey, I thought you twisted your ankle. Oh, uh, yeah. Or have his genitals hooked up to a car battery. I'll tell you who. Him! Woohoo! Throughout this course, you will protect your personal melon as if it was paying your salary. No! Well, your dive wasn't bad, but I just didn't believe you. No! However, your checks have cleared, so you all graduate. Congratulations. Yeah! I'll always love you. Yeehaw! Hold it, what's your clearance? We just want to get a snack. Access denied. I asked you to take out the garbage three days ago, and you still haven't... So always comport yourself in a manner befitting. Quick, honk at that broad. That you... Mayor Quimby? Homer, why didn't you say you was with the mayor? Shove off, you calls! Get out of there! Keep them coming. <sighs> Your generosity is greatly appreciated. But he also makes the trains run on time. No, he doesn't. Trains are regulated by the Federal Department of Transportation. However, in the future, I would prefer a nondescript briefcase to the sack with a dollar sign on it. I hope you cows are decent. <gasps> Crap on a crutch! Bert, <gasps> no! Can I still drink it? Go nuts. All right! You wouldn't need me alive if it wasn't for me! Help! His corpse is climbing the building! I'm alive, you idiot! You've got the best bodyguard in the business! Now promise or I'll let you fall to your death! All right, all right, I promise! Did you know that this is how FDR met Eleanor? All right, pull me up. If you would simply consult my dear friend, Mayor Quimby, I am confident this can be... Not this time, Fat Tony! Oh, Godfather! <laughs> Break it down. Run free, little vermin. The city is yours. Hello, Mayor Quimby. I would like to remind you that accidents will happen. Those mobsters don't scare me. Bart, would you go start Daddy's car? Homer? What? I was thinking of a quiet evening at home with the, uh... wife. Some place where you can relax and forget all about gangsters. Othello with Peter Marshall. Okay, Mr. Burns, Fat Tony, what's his name? Fat Tony! Mayor, Fat Tony asked me to give you this. You moron! This is a conceptual nightmare. I mean, Nathan Detroit would never wear this. 
And the song isn't even in the show. Luke, be a Jedi tonight. Just be a Jedi tonight. Hey, you're in this number. That guy with the knife sure can dance, huh? He looks awfully familiar. Homer, use the fork. The fork? The forks. Use the forks. Oh. Oh, crap. <coughs> oh. I checked with the doctor. He said Mayor Quimby's gonna be fine. And I was electric as Nathan Detroit. Homer, I think you know what to do. What insane kangaroo dream this fever nightmare? Behold! <laughs> Lisa has a big butt! Lisa has a big butt! Shut up! I do not! You're the cutest little girl I know! You just have what is known as the Simpson butt. And for some reason, my hair and ear form an M and a G. Wasting away to nothing! You simply must eat something! Oh well, you're the boss! There's my hundred. Where's my party? Nice try, loser. Here's a mistake. It says the capital of Kentucky is Frankfurt. <laughs> All right, boy, which con did you work here? Copy up another kid? Pay attention and take notes? Oh, this store makes me feel even worse about myself. All wrong. I know. It's such an unrealistic standard for young... Huh? Laning down the five. Don't worry, Lisa. You can still find someone to love you. Now you've got no choice. <laughs> Grandpa! Plus, your schoolyard chums, Martin and Ralph. Rock on! You know, the first time I met Bart was at recess in first grade. <gasps> For our first game, I need everyone to draw a picture of President Eisenhower. <laughs> Remember that maple leaf iron between the sheets of wax paper? What was that? That was crap. Fries out of a safari hat. No thanks. I'm going to stay in the library and do a little reading. If the child doesn't do it now, it may never happen. Seymour, do you want your vitamin and applesauce, or are you going to take it like a big boy? Aren't you the boy who beats up my son? Probably. What's your name? Simpson. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the sandwich rocks. My tadpoles seem crude by comparison. I already like you. Ha ha! I'm starting to let down my guard. Ha ha! Uh, take it sleazy. He said he'd take you camping sometime. I said I might. What do you say? It'll be blam. Bart, Lisa, and Mom. Huh? Great roll, Nelson. Here, I cut up your hot dog for you. So, my mom works at Hooters, but her dream is to go to Vegas and work in a real strip club. Nelson, how'd you like to earn some extra money around our house? I have some odd jobs my kids won't do. Hey, Lisa, are you counting how many days it takes to wash your big butt? <laughs> Lise, look! <gasps> But you did a great job on the lawn. Thanks, Dingus. Oh, I mean, ma'am. Now I can't have toothpaste tonight. No. No wonder he came home with his vest all buttoned, like he was somebody. Nelson, what are you doing out this late? My mom ditched me. Can I get you a glass of milk? Cow milk? I said top bunk! You know, there's a tough, crunchy shell, but if you lick it, there's a delicious sweetness inside. Savor it. Let the flavors dance on your palate. Doesn't that hurt your teeth? Uh, my teeth hurt all the time. I just try to think about motorcycles. Papa, can you hear me? Papa, can you see me? Papa, can you help me not be frightened? Perfect test. 
If I can have one dab of frosting and then stop, I'll know I've conquered food at last. Okay. If I stop here, I still have some dignity. <laughs> Secure about your body? <clears throat> yeah, a little. Those mean girls just get to me. Stolen cookies. Enjoy! Oh, thank you, Nelson! <laughs> thank you, Nelson. He who ha-ha's last, ha-ha's best. Nelson? Papa! You came back! <laughs> I also bought myself a candy bar, which, uh, unfortunately was filled with peanuts, to which I am allergic. And so do I. Mom! I got an acting job from the third director I slept with! The Munches are back in business. Yep, the four Munches. <laughs> They're a family again, and so are we. What happened? Talking about the problem is the first step towards the solution, right? I guess, but there's a long way to go. I can't.